in the given figure line rp parallel line ms and line dk is their transversal angle dhp is equal to 85 degree find the measures of following angles angle rhd angle phg angle hgs and angle mgk for the first one when angle dhp is given to you 85 degree an angle dhp plus angle rhd is equal to 180 degree because they are angles in linear pair so when we substitute the value of angle dhp as 85 plus angle rhd is equal to 180 degree take 85 on the right hand side so it will become minus so angle rhd is equal to 180 minus 85 that is 95 degree angle phg is equal to angle rhd that is vertically opposite angle therefore angle phg also will be 95 degree then line rp parallel to line ms and line dk is their transversal hence angle hgs is equal to angle dhp that is corresponding angles therefore angle hgs is equal to 85 degree and angle hgs is vertically opposite to angle mgk hence mgk angle also will be 85 degree in the figure line p parallel line q and line l and line m are the transversals measures of some angles are shown hence find the measures of angle a angle b angle c and angle d so 110 degree angle and angle a they form a linear pair so the addition will be 180 take 110 on the right hand side it will become minus so angle a is equal to 180 minus 110 that is equal to 70 degree consider angle e as shown in the figure we have line p parallel line q and line l is their transversal therefore angle e plus 110 degree will be equal to 180 degree that is their interior angles take 110 on the right hand side it will become minus so angle e is equal to 180 minus 110 that is 70 degree angle b is equal to angle e they are vertically opposite angles therefore angle b major also will be 70 degree line p parallel line q and line m is their transversal so that time angle c will be equal to 115 degree that is they are corresponding angles and 115 degree angle and angle d they form linear pair so the addition will be 180 take 115 on the right hand side it will become minus so 180 minus 115 it gives you 65 degree so angle d is equal to 65 degree in the given figure sides of angle pqr and angle xyz are parallel to each other prove that angle pqr congruent angle xyz so here we are given that ray yz parallel ray qr and ray yx parallel ray qp we have to prove angle pqr congruent angle xyz so here we need to have a construction that is extend ray yz in the opposite direction it intersects ray qp at point s qp can be written as sp hence ray yx parallel ray sp and segment sy is the transversal angle xyz congruent angle psy corresponding angles now ray yz parallel ray qr given so yz can be written as sz so ray sz parallel ray qr 
and segment PQ is their transversal. Therefore, angle PSY congruent to angle SQR. These are corresponding angles. Angle SQR is the same as angle PQR. So hence, angle PSY congruent angle PQR. Number it as 2. So from 1 and 2, we have angle PQR congruent angle XYZ. Because both the angles are congruent to angle PSY. Hence, they are congruent to each other also.